Starburst is a query engine. It's like a database without storage. Uh, what we provide is really the ability to do analytics, data warehousing style analytics, without the need to consolidate data in a single data warehouse. And so people who are working with data lakes and need fast access to data in a data lake, or are starting to deploy a data mesh model, find Starburst as an engine to power those analytics. And we've been around for about four years. We uh, really started the technology. My co-founders were from Facebook and built an open source project called Presto, later changed to Trino. And, uh, and that was really the foundations of us getting, getting going. Healthcare is really in the modernization phase for data and analytics. Um, for a long time, there have been silos of data all over everywhere in the healthcare market. And uh, probably you can see this if you go to hospital, you might not necessarily be able to get access to your record from your GP, or if you're going to a pharmacist, they might not see all the information from your last hospital visit. And really that is going to be a barrier to healthcare moving to uh, kind of a more user or patient-centric uh, model in the future. And it is going to stop people getting the advanced uh, benefits from healthcare. And so uh, you can simply boil that down into how do we get the data into one place so you can get one answer for the user or for the patient or the practitioner when you need that answer. When you're building a data analytics capability in healthcare, you need to choose a partner that can provide some of those really advanced security features that aren't just about the platform being technically secure, but they're also about how do you make sure the right user has access only to the right data and when it's anonymized or not anonymized depending on the use case. So one example uh, where Starburst and Emis have worked really well together is in the COVID analytics. So uh, we were building our platform before COVID hit, uh, but we needed, when it did come along, to quickly get research, uh, researchers at places like Oxford University to get access to lots of patient data, but they could only have access to some of it anonymized. And so uh, maybe I'll pass to Justin to give you the view on how the technology supports anonymization, but what we found is having that technology built in allowed us to do more than we would have otherwise been able to do. Yeah, so just to add to that, um, what Richard's referring to is really the necessity for access control. So you can ensure who can see what and what they ultimately see. And particularly if you're trying to create a single point of access for all of your data, you need a single point of access control. And so that's part of what's built into the platform. It's very fine grained, so you can control individual rows, individual columns, you can do data masking, you can see uh, query audit logs, so you know who has accessed what, if there's uh, something that needs to be investigated afterwards. So very um, uh, sensitive and finely grained access controls. Well, at least from our perspective, you know, Richard is a, a visionary, a pioneer, an innovator, and I think Emis is, is, is that as well. And we want to work with, you know, visionary, innovative companies. We believe that this is a new way of thinking about data warehousing analytics, as I mentioned earlier, really kind of like turning the data warehousing model inside out. Uh, and uh, it's, it's actually quite inspiring to see this put into practice and particularly on such a noble and critically important cause, really, that benefits all of us. So um, hopefully we can find more Richards out there to work with as well. Yeah, I mean, I would echo uh, what Justin says. You know, this partnership has brought the best technologies along with really noble causes, which really gets you out of bed in the morning to, to take, you know, adopt this technology and, and bring a use case to, li to life. Um, we still haven't finished integrating all the data. We're, we're really just on the cusp of, of, or the beginnings of that journey. And as we bring more data in, what we find is we'll get a richer view of the patient, which means you can better understand how to treat their ailments. So as you understand um, things about allergies or uh, long uh, medication, medical uh, issues, you can work out how to treat them better, and that means you know, it will continue to grow as a platform because we'll be able to do more and more good.